Mashimo, um, just give us a brief of what is going on, what you think it's... My name is Okio Mtato Goiti, a senator of the Republic of Kenya elected by people of Kusia County. And I'm here with comrades. We're just walking on the streets and uh, trying to say that uh, the democratic process is not subverted, is not aborted, because uh, the budget, as you say, it is a budget driven by the IMF. It's not a budget driven by Kenyans. And it's a complete violation of Article 1, where the people are sovereign. So we'd like a budget that is driven by Kenyans, a budget that serves Kenyans. And the most painful thing is that uh, we see the state continually being re reduced to nothing. In this budget, you find that the state is collecting a, collecting a, lot, of, a lot of money, but none of the money, most of the money is not going into service delivery. Most of the money is either going to debt repayment or it's going to executive expenditure. So the rationalize, if we rationalize the budget, and then there's the question of budget and corruption, billions, hundreds of billions of shillings have been tagged into the budget, which need not be there to be stolen. So if the budget was cleaned up, we would not be having this kind of punitive taxation. So what we are saying, they don't say that what they have done in State House today by dropping a few taxes, these were, these were things they had put there, then they were planned, they, they were, they'd put them there intentionally to vex the middle class and then drop them. Like when you are chasing a thief and he, a robber and he drops some money and you stop to pick it, he gets time to escape. So the really, the really painful part is that this budget is uh, not patriotic. This budget destroys the Kenyan state. This budget makes us poorer. This budget makes uh, production in Kenya very expensive. We cannot compete with our neighbors. And that, uh, that, is the, that, that on its own is something that for me must not happen. And so the people coming out to say no is very important. Remember in the Garden of Aden, if only Eve had said no, would still be in paradise. <laughs> Do you, uh, should Kenyans count on on this building behind us? Um, yeah, we count on we count on the National Assembly, and we can't condemn them until they do what they will do. If they listen to the people and they do what we are expect, what, what they are supposed to do, to go the part of taxes in their hands. If they do what they are supposed to do, then it will be okay. But if they don't do what the what the people want, then I think we are in for a very, a very long night whereby Kenyans will have to resist and say that they cannot be reduced to nothing through taxation. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Anything you wish to add? Yeah. Anything you wish to add? Yeah. yeah. Anything you wish to add? No, I'm just, I just appeal to the president to do the necessary thing. Now you can see a lot of public resources are being wasted. We have got very few policemen in this country, and instead of them uh, keeping peace elsewhere, they are being wasted on the streets of Nairobi where there's no, where their services are not required. So you can see this waste of resources. These are the kind of things we are trying to tell the president: shape up or ship out. <laughs> Executive Director Tisa, a proud taxpayer of Kenya, and um, a Kenyan who is very happy, partly happy today, because the journey of active citizenship um, is on to a new level. Senator just told me we have managed to improve many, many bad things, 
And right now I'm covering the senators back, which is the people's budget and appropriation. But we just follow the process and we keep listening to the voices of the people of Kenya because ultimately this country belongs to us. We, we are the people who build it, not our rulers. So to Natambia to Nairobi, to Kiambia wa Kenya, Kenya itasimama. Yeah, and uh, some members of parliament have said they have already removed some some of the relative taxes. Um, are you so satisfied with that? Are you satisfied with that? Um, it's a step in the right direction. We have seen um, the highlighted uh, provision. Some of them are the provisions that we had raised as the uh, civil society, student body, or kwauchumi, professional bodies, but not all of them. And uh, we are keenly waiting for the report to be tabled in uh, parliament. Definitely in terms of process, constitutionality, the budget, we still have some questions because it's not like the next year will be an easy one for Kenyans. We will not have access to essential services yet. We'll still be paying debt that we do not know whether it is our debt. The commitment around corruption, we are yet to see a serious commitment on that particular process. And um, we also want to see an aggregated report that shows how much they listened to Kenyans or it was just an action of direct uh, pressure. The recent messages to members of parliament, the actions on Twitter and so on. Do you think today's event, the protest, has achieved anything? Yes. Every day Kenyans speak by being um, told to stay away, by being uh, sold for fear. It is a step in the right direction. But our constitution is still um, at play. It is a step in the right um, direction. We hope the next time that uh, UDA MPs will first address their constituents before they address the town. So we are making a mistake. We must go! 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 We must go!